I want to read you a little snippet of your piece for Forbes. And if you could dive a little deeper in there for us after I'm done. You wrote this. Not only does For or does not only does Trump know how his people make meaning, but he also knows how to communicate with them in such a way that he's able to consistently achieve meaning congruence when he engages them. Can you explain that a little bit for us? Yeah, I mean, the best marketers know this well that marketers don't make meaning, we signal it. We signal meaning and then people observe, they apprehend what we have communicated and they translate it through their cultural frames. And based on how they see the world, that communication being implicit or explicit now takes on uh, a translation that they have constructed. And when good marketers are able to achieve meaning congruence it's done because of their proximity their intimacy with the people and this i think is really sort of what trump has done the best in his in his political career is that he's been able to signal to communicate both implicitly and explicitly in a way that speaks directly to the cultural frames by which his people his supporters see the world i mean even the language make america great again he was signaling dog whistling if you will to a group of people who felt unheard unseen, forgotten, right, uh, dismissed out of the American dream. And he finally said, finally, someone said it. And that language, that vernacular has been the gospel for them. And the way he communicates to them, he communicates directly to them, speaking directly at them. They feel seen. And as a result, they are activated. And then they go activate other people who are just like them. And they activate people just like them. And they you find the network effects that propagate within the, the, the population, meaning congruence. This is when we communicate in such a way that our intentions are translated uh, directly by the people in such a way that there is congruence. And we're talking to them in a way that they understand and us, them. And we find ourselves in simpatico. We find ourselves so connected that the, the ability to be detethered regardless of the facts, regardless of the rationalities, regardless of the evidence, those things are superfluous. They're meaningless because of how connected we are. And people are willing to do mental gymnastics to rationalize and justify why they do what they do because of the shared beliefs. In this conversation, you've mentioned really the negative implications of this type of marketing what can we as Americans, maybe political leaders, brands take away from this Trump's marketing exercise, essentially? Yep. I think that for us as citizens of the world, it's walking away with this truth, that there is no objective truth in the world. The world is subjective. It's not objective, right? For some, a cow is leather. For others, it's a deity. For some, it's dinner. For some, a rug is decor. For some, it's a souvenir. Some, it's a place of worship. Which one is it? It's all of those things, depending on who you are and how you see the world. And if we can, if we can grapple with that truth, that our truth isn't the only truth, then if we find ourselves in a world where we could be much more sympathetic, much more empathetic, right? That I realize that, hey, you see the world one way, I see it another way, but that's okay. So long as your truth doesn't mean my oppression, we can coexist. Right? And it helps us, you know, it helps us uh, uh, see the world in a much more vivid way. Like if you imagine social living as a basketball game, people who have courtside seats see a different game than those who have nosebleed seats. But we're looking at the exact same game. And the idea then is that we get a better understanding of the game of life, if you will, if we sit in more seats, realizing that our seat isn't the only seat. Ergo, our truth isn't the only truth. If we want to get a better representation of the world, then we need to see the world through other people's lenses. And what Trump's marketing and those who do marketing like that, both in, in, in ways that are nefarious and ways that are, are productive, it just illuminates and underscores that very, that very reality. That reality is not objective, it's subjective. And therefore, if we can see and, and realize that our worldview isn't the only worldview, then we're able just to be better citizens. Just be, just be better cohabitants of this thing that we call Earth.